All right. As you see, I have the radio apart again. LED lights. These LED lights are going in the radio. Not on the radio itself, but on the face. This is the face of the radio. I'm going to hook these lights, not to the radio, but to the tweakers. See, I already got these lights right here. <clears throat> so, since I already got those lights, two of them are blown out. Figured I might as well use a couple more. <laughs> I took these out of an old CD player. You've probably seen the video I put up in the old CD player. These are my good chips. And I got out of the CD player. Anyway, to make long story short, these lights are going to be blinking. And these lights are going to be connected to the tweakers. These are the speakers. For those of you who don't know what a tweaker is, tweaker is a small speaker that creates treble. When you deal with a stereo, you got usually two speakers. If it's a good, usually you have two speakers. <coughs> you have your big speakers for your bass and your midtones, and you have your little speakers for your treble. Sometimes they have resistors, sometimes they have capacitors between your treble speakers and your bass speakers. But this right here is just a simple simple setup. You have your your bass speakers and you have your your uh, your tweakers. There's no resistors between uh between your tweakers and your big speakers in this stereo. You don't need them. Because these are only maybe, what, 4 inch, 5 inch speakers. You don't need them. It's unnecessary. However, since I got no uh, Since I'm in the mood to modify things, and uh, I'm passing the time here, what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to put these LED lights in the stereo okay now the way that they set this up is a good way don't get me wrong this stereo was designed in a very good way compared to some stereos uh, but I'm gonna redesign the way that they have it set up I was thinking about taking these tweakers out and replacing them with bigger speakers, but I'm thinking to myself, that's not necessary. So all I'm going to do is put these little tiny LED lights. I'm going to put these little LED lights right here that I took out of an old CD player. I'm going to put these lights like in the screen. Like right here and right here. I'm going to glue them or melt them. I don't know how I'm going to put them in there, but I'll figure out a way. I'm thinking about putting these lights inside of the stereo and then hooking these lights to the tweakers. But I'm not just going to hook them to the tweakers. I'm going to put a resistor between the tweaker and the light so when you have the volume cranked up really loud, it doesn't blow out the light. I had lights in here before and they blew out because the speakers were too powerful. Uh, I learned from my mistakes and I also got some little motors. I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. This was also from that little CD player I found the other day. These motors generate electricity. Any DC motor will generate electricity. Don't let the government know that. They'll kill you if they find out that you know. 
You can generate electricity from any simple DC motor. The government finds out you know that, big power companies will go out of business. They'll kill you. Anyway, I gotta crush these beer cans. I shall be back. As we speak, I've got a tape recorded in the stereo over there. My brother gave me a new stereo with a, with a C, CD player and tape player. Now, I recorded some CDs from uh, the computer system. And since the boombox doesn't have CD player, I'm recording those songs to tape which I can play from a Walkman and light up my LED lights and all that when I'm on the train tracks. Now, we've got our wires. Actually, no. Here's the wires right here. Here's the wires. This was from the CD player. I'm going to cut the ends off. I'm going to cut the ends off from these little wires. See, this, these wires went to a digital circuit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to snip the ends. And I'm going to use these wires to light my little light bulbs. So while we have this time, Heat up the soldering iron. Uh, uh. All right. All right. I got the soldering iron plugged in. It's heating up. Now I just gotta get my. All I gotta do is get these little light bulbs to light up. Uh, and my mission will be a success. Uh, I gotta go check on the tape. Give me a second. That is what's recorded in the tapes. My brother gave me this digital stereo. It has nice sound to it. And it records tapes. I gotta get it to read the CD though. So I turn it off and turn it back on. Until it reads the CD. And then I can finish recording my music to tape. I like tapes. They got a nice sound to them. I think they have better sound. They got better sound than the, the CDs. Uh, better sound. You just got to get it to read the CD. And then all should be success. You can record the music to a tape. Alright, now that I've read the CD, I just gotta find out what track it was on. I think it was on like... Like number 10. Uh, hang on. Play. My mission is to get these LED lights to work. It's a good song. Bass. Let's change bass. Wrong button. Uh, is that 
with this song I was listening to? See, I gotta find out what song I left off on. Alright, this is a song that I left off on. Heavy metal. Real rock and roll music. Something that you'll never hear on the radio. Yeah, I like the old stuff better than the new shit. You know? Stereo is not necessarily new and it's not old. I like it. It's got a very nice sound to it. Um, I gotta find out what song I left off on. out which one it is. Alright, music is recording now. I can get back to what I was doing. I just need to make sure that that tape is recording for when I'm out and about. You know what I mean? Now I need to get the LED lights here to light up. Oh boy. These LED lights, they need to light up. And I need to make sure that I got a resistor between the tweakers, the speakers, and the LEDs because the LED lights will blow out when you have the radio turned up really loud. The LED lights are only like 4 volts. And these speakers are 5 watts each. It's a 10 watt stereo. So, I don't want to blow out the lights. I'm sure you get what I'm saying. Right here is my little microchip collection. Resistors. Let's find some resistors. Hmm. Where, where could they be? Resistors, here we go, here's one. One resistor. I need another one. Here we go. Another resistor. Do you think I should use a capacitor or a resistor for this? I'm thinking I should use two resistors. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know what kind of resistors these are. I just know that these are resistors from a CD player that was going to go in the trash. So I'm going to put one of these resistors between each light and the tweaker. That way I don't blow out uh, the light bulbs. From what I understand, the resistors, they limit a certain amount of current between uh, a circuit, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I'll solder them in, see how it works. <laughs> Alright, now it's time to snip our little wires. Snip our little wires. Alright. Now we have our little wires. Dun 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 dun. Whoa! Wasn't expecting that.
All right, so now I got to solder the little wires. Little wires got to go on the speakers. one wire now we gotta get the second wire to go on alright the second wire is on there but I'm put some solder over top of it just to be safe it's a little loose Good enough. Now we got our two wires on the right side. And we got to get our two wires on the left side. I'm a little drunk. I forgot to get the other wires ready. Finish my beer. I got to get these wires ready. You see, you gotta you can get wires from anywhere. Make sure you save all your parts CD players, televisions, whatever. Save all your parts, save all your little microchips. So they're all good. All good parts. Always remember, you can find some good stuff in the trash. Find some good stuff in the trash. Very good stuff in the trash. Never let anybody steer you wrong. You find a lot of good stuff in the trash, my friends. A lot of good stuff. Uh, these two little wires got to be soldered to the tweaker on the left side. And um, these little resistors right here. Probably can't see it. Little resistors. I'm going to put one resistor. See, I noticed something. Every time I try and tell you something important, the camera cuts me off. I'm going to put one resistor on the positive side of each connection. Alright? Positive side on the left speaker and the positive side on the right speaker. I'm going to put a resistor between the LED and the tweaker. That way I don't blow the LED light. You see the camera likes to cut me off when I'm trying to tell you something important. But I need you to know that. Resistor on the positive side between the tweaker and the LED. Okay? The camera couldn't cut me off at time. I gotta get rid of these beer cans. Crush them down and take them up to the scrapyard. It's funny how spiritual things work, isn't it? Right as you say something important, the camera wants to cut you off. It's funny, ain't it? Very spiritual, my friend. Never forget that.
<laughs> You're not at war with the fresh. You're not at war with the flesh. You're at war with principalities. Now, let's get these wires soldered. There, I'll bring you over here. I'll bring you right here so you can see clear. I can see clearly now the camera's moved. You can see clearly now. Right? <clears throat> sure you can. Now. One's done. Now two. All right, both wires are on securely. Now. You see, the thing is, is that I don't have to upload these videos. I don't have to record everything I'm doing. I do this for you. Okay? When I get a call from a spirit, I follow that call. A lot of you don't believe in the great spirit, but I do. The great spirit of peace. The God of peace. Okay? When I get a call from that spirit, I follow that call. See, we're all messengers in this world. None of us are going to be here forever. I'm going to die. You're going to die. We're all going to die. While we're here, we might as well make the best out of it, right? Alright? See, I'm the type of dude, when I get bored, I like to mess around with things. I like to solder wires. <laughs> I like to make little blinking LED lights. <laughs> Whatever you like to do, show people, inspire people, make people feel good about themselves while they're here. That's what I try and do. I try and make myself feel good while I'm here. I try and enjoy myself, and I try and help you enjoy yourself, because I care about you. Even though I don't know you, I know you're just like me, and I care about you, as a brother or sister in spirit. And now, with that being said, I'm going to finish what I was doing. We're almost finished. If you're getting bored, go watch Miley Cyrus. Or go listen to President Obama. Or Harrison J. Bonnell. Or whatever his name is. <laughs> if you're getting bored, go listen to him. Go do what everybody else is doing if you're bored. In the meantime, I'm going to finish what I'm doing. And I'm also going to finish my beer. Now it's time to solder the little resistor onto the little wires. That'll stop our LED lights from blowing out. I'm going to need some solder to do this one. We got our solder right here.
All we gotta do is get the solder to stick to the resistor and the little copper wire. After we get it to stick, we will have a mission success. Just a matter of getting the solder to stick to the resistor and the wire both at the same time. Imagine that. Alright, I don't think it matters which end you solder it to. I don't think resistors have a positive and a negative. I think Please correct me if I'm wrong on this, because I don't know. I don't know if resistors have a positive and a negative side to them, or if they're if the current doesn't matter. But I'm going to solder it to this side anyway. See how it works out. Ah! Just got to get the solder to stick to the two of them. Almost had it there. Gotta get another beer and smoke a cigarette. There we go. Look at that. I got it. <laughs> Success. Now I gotta solder this end of the resistor to the LED. Almost finished. Almost. Alright. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the solder here. Before I mess with the resistor and the wire, I'm going to take the solder. I'm going to melt some solder onto the one side of the LED. Hopefully I'm not doing this the wrong way. If I am, correct me, please, so I know. So other people know I don't want to put false information out there. I don't know if these lights have a positive and negative to them or what. As long as they light up, I don't really care be honest I just want it to work and I want to open my next beer smoke my next cigarette to be honest as long as it works I'm happy <laughs> it figures that I'm having trouble getting the solder here shit I'm having trouble getting this solder to stick to the lead on the LED light. How did I know there was going to be a problem? What's a day without a problem and a solution, right? Don't worry, we'll get it working. One way or the other, we'll get it working. <laughs> I'm running out of tape on my camera here. I didn't even realize until just now. So I'm going to try and speed up this video. I'm going to try and speed up the video a little bit here. See the camera cuts, out, cuts off usually after 56 seconds. Usually around 56 seconds in one minute the camera cuts off. So I have about four more clips before I run out of tape. The only thing is, the solder is not sticking to the lead. Let me heat it up a little bit. Maybe it'll stick then. Alright. This is starting to aggravate me a little bit. I'm not going to get mad. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cigarette break. Yep. I'm going to unplug the soldering iron and I'm going to take a cigarette break. Finish my beer, grab another one, and then I'll come back to this project and I will inform you on how everything is going because as of now I don't want to mess anything up I'm just gonna 
you know. Look at that. I'm down to two cigarettes. I'm gonna have to roll more. Alright, I don't really have enough tape to finish this project on film. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this. In the next video that I upload, I'll let you know how this goes. Oh, how did I fuck that up? Look at this. Look at that. Ugh, it's a sign from God. Must be a sign from God, right? It's got to be a sign from God. I'm going to let you know how these little LED lights go. Next video I upload, I'll let you know how it goes. Because I'm a little fried right now. And I don't want...